Let's simplify the fraction 25 60 Here's how we do it. We want to find another fraction that's equivalent, has the same value as 25 divided by 60, just that it's in lowest terms. And to do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 25 and 60. So these are the factors for 25 and 60. So when we look at the factors for 25 and for 60, we're looking for the greatest common factor. And it looks like 5 is going to be the greatest common factor. So we divide 25 by 5, then 60 by 5, and we'll have factored 25 60 -ths. Let's move this over here. So 25 divided by 5, that is 5. And then 60 divided by 5 is 12. And we've simplified 25 60 down to 5 twelfths. And these are equivalent fractions. 25 divided by 60, 5 divided by 12, you get the same number. It's just that we've simplified 25 60 to 5 twelfths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.